Hello Libras, I'm with a reading with a story um, for the sign of Libra. So anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart could resonate with this story. Um, I will be looking into the current energies um, and then digging deeper into those energies and taking this out over the period of the next short um, immediate future. So this will be one, one spread and within the spread I'll be digging deeper and going down rabbit holes and I'm going on to side trails and see, seeing what we can kind of find in this reading. It's something that I really enjoy doing and um, I, I'm going to explore it a little bit um, and be brave with you um, to do this kind of a free form kind of a reading. All right, so I um, just want to remind you that there will be an extended reading. In the extended reading, I will go out um, two, two to three months in the future to kind of see how this scenario plays out. I'll also look at the people who are around you. We'll dig deeper into the energy that is around them, and we will also look to see what we can find within their perspective of the Libra, of the Libra energy, of your energy, Libra. All right, so that's what... The extended reading will be so let's go ahead and um, see what's here for us what is the current energy of the libra of this libra group what is the current energy of this libra group ace of pentacles exciting i think this might have been similar to the aquarius that i did yesterday as well um five of wands in the reverse that's exciting to see Let's see what else is here for Libra, and then we'll look at the situation that's around you. See if we can piece this together, my friends. We'll see in the devil energy popped up too. We'll see if we can piece this together, figure out what's going on. The five of pentacles flipped over as well. We have the four of swords, all right. A little bit of a back tail there as far as um, maybe a little bit of fear about um, finances or fear of loss, um, but it looks like those energies are waning. Let's look at the situation that's around you now. The situation that's around Libra. Situation that's around Libra. Three of Pentacles. King of Swords. There you are again. So there could be um, another person as well that's quite like yourself be a Gemini or an Aquarius or someone taking over that energy. There's the Queen of Swords. So now we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Wow. Isn't that incredible sometimes how, oh my gosh, the Four of Wands. Isn't that incredible sometimes how the King and Queens of the same, uh, of the same suit fall out on the table one after another? I mean, how does that happen? You know, it's, it's just sometimes this tool can be so magical, my friends. Sometimes it can just be so magical how it works. All right, let's stick with these energies and um, we will dig deeper within these once I get through the, the more of a generalized kind of reading here. So if we start with your energy, Libra, um, we have this new beginning here. The Ace of Pentacles is clearly the first energy that, that flipped out. So there's some sort of new improvement here for this group of people. Um, now, this doesn't have, you know, it's, it's all in the perspective. And I think for many of us in this period of time, our perspectives are shifting, aren't they? They're changing. We're changing how we're thinking about our experience here on Earth. However that is for you, Libra, there is an improvement in your reality. What is that improvement in your reality? It helps you move forward in some way. It stabilizes life in some way. It settles your energy in some way. It grounds you. Remember, the Ace of Pentacles is something that will help to ground you, help to settle you, help to um, connect you with the earth and connect you with feeling the, the energy of steadiness. So um, whereas before you could have been really kind of faltering or you could have been... Um, you know, when you first get on a bicycle, uh, maybe when you're first learning to ride a bicycle, or maybe if you haven't ridden one for a long time and you and you get back on a bicycle again, at first when you start out, you can kind of wibble wobble on the bicycle until you pedal and you gain some speed. That could have been like a shaky start or, or something like that that you were in. And the Ace of Pentacles can be the energy of just 
getting into the flow of it, experiencing life in a, in a better way, feeling much more grounded about, about your situation. Um, for some of you, you could really have a new improvement coming in, maybe a new job, or um, maybe some money is coming in for you, or maybe you've received a loan, or maybe you have gotten a bonus, or uh, maybe your business has really picked up. Something here, there is an improvement here with the Ace of Pentacles, and this is really nice to see. Libra, it's really nice to see because I think there's a whole many of us, a whole huge, huge group of us that are very worried um, and and nervous and, and feeling unsettled about finances. So the, the fact that there is some improvement in your walk, improvement in your reality here is really nice to see. Um, we do have the five of, of wands in reverse. So it does look like there's something that's opening up now. Um, maybe this brick wall that's here is now sort of... Um, falling away or you've realized that it's just fake brick or maybe you've taken that hammer and hit it down and you've used your energy and you've um, knocked that brick wall down with your hard work you know and your tenacity and your perseverance and your positive attitude and your can-do spirit right i mean you know as we look at this five of of wands in reverse we see that this person is ready to take a sledgehammer to this brick wall and he's ready to go you know and so some of you could have worked quite diligently um to and used up a lot of energy to knock this brick wall down because it looks like it's been knocked down it's it's clearing away the block is clearing away here in the path of libra and then we have the four of swords um which is the energy of coming in out of that battle going you know walking through that block and then resting and relaxing and, and really finding your bearings again and maybe recuperating and uh, and maybe you're sleeping a lot or maybe you're just resting maybe you're watching tv or maybe you're whatever you're doing you're resting your body you're coming in out of the storm and you're connecting to the divine energy that which you feel reverent about that which you feel so thankful for whatever it is that you connect into um, whether it's a religious system a belief system, whatever it is, it's something that really gives you strength and helps you to move forward. It brings you guidance. It connects you in with feelings of appreciation, gratitude, and reverence, and it and it helps move you forward in your life in some way. So um, this could even be meditation. This could be prayer. Um, this could be rest. What, however you connect in with the Four of Swords, there is a resting energy and a coming in out of the storm or coming in out of the battle kind of an energy. So that's what this group of people are doing now as we move here into the next next immediate future. Um, in the environment around you, the situation that is around you, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is something that you're working on or something here in your environment is being created or has been created. Um, it's interesting that we have the King of Swords. I'm going to do this. I'm going to rearrange these just a little bit. We have the King of Swords here next to the Queen of Swords. It's interesting, Libra, that these energies came out. And over the top of these, we have the Four of Wands. So it does look like there's something here um, that you've been working to bring into a more stable place. I think you're feeling optimistic about it. The Pentacles energy is something that will bring stability, that will bring money, perhaps, or new adventures or new experiences that will help you in the way you feel about your life that will help you in the comfort, in the stability, in the, the um, it, it will build up an energy or a situation around you that will help you to feel much more abundant, much more, it will help you feel wealthy. It will help you feel strong. It will help you feel like you can weather the next storm. You can weather the next battle uh, because you have something additional here that's gonna help you to do that. So it could be um, tools around you that are, are coming in for you to use that are helping you to build something for yourself. Or maybe you are working on a project that you feel very optimistic about that can bring you into a new um, a new income level or into, an, into some new money for yourself. Um, whatever it is, it's a very industrious kind of energy. So you're very ambitious about it. You're feeling optimistic about it. Um, you're working hard on it. Now, it can even be a relationship. So it can be something you're doing at work. You could be something you're doing with your business. It could be something that you're working on within a relationship or within a family. Um, but it's something that you feel ambitious about. It's something that you're optimistic about and you're busy at work to do this. Um, we do again have the king and queen 
um, of, of sorts here. So there could be um, couples that are involved in this. Um, there could be work partners. There could be business partners. There could even be communities and businesses that are working together. Even governments could be working together because these energies, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords can go over the top, um, can filter through pretty much anything that's happening. So these energies can filter through people. So this could be you here. And I think for many of you, it is you either in the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords, depending if you're the one making the big decisions and making the, the, the big choices, or if you're the one who's saying, wait a second, have you thought about this? We really need to think about this over here, right? So this is how the two would, would, would talk to each other. You would have one here that would say, well, if I look at this situation, if I look at this situation in a big picture kind of way, I really feel like, um, you know, if you're a farmer, I'm going to just speak from what I know in life. If you're a farmer and you have um, several pieces of ground and uh, maybe this farmer knows that what he's put in these fields the last five years, maybe one year there was corn, the next year there was soybeans. And then if you're in the Midwest, we then be corn and, corn and then soybeans again and then corn and then soybeans. But if you're in other places of the world, it could those crops could really rotate with diverse diverse differences within them. So this farmer, the, the masculine energy would know like what would be in those fields in the past five years. And he would kind of have this, <clears throat> this big picture point, you know, kind of view, like maybe I'll put corn in this field and then I'll put, um, you know, I'll, I'll put pumpkins in the other field and maybe in this other field, I'll, I'll plant um, strawberries and those strawberries will be able to be there for four years. So I won't really have to do anything with that field for a while. And he'll have these big ideas. And then the queen of swords would be like, well, have you thought about this community over there? They really like fresh market. They really like that. And I think that it's good to, to do this for the environment. And I think it's good to um, participate in fresh market. And I really think that if we're going to put strawberries in like that, then we should do that in a very organic way and we shouldn't use spray and we should, you know, so that's how these two energies work together. And that's so fun for me to do because I didn't know what I was going to say until I started talking. And that's the power of spirit because they kind of brought forward, okay, how would these two energies work together? And now we kind of know a little bit more about the queen of swords and the king of swords and how they work, don't we? And sometimes we can just say the words out loud and, and we just go through these energies and it's really fun to get a little deeper and to kind of get some real examples about how this couple would work together. So this queen of swords would be uh, much more um, involved in the community, perhaps, or much more involved in, in the situations around that could be impacted by these decisions. And she could be there kind of influencing the king of swords to um, perhaps adjust the decision making just a little bit and, and, and really think about some elements of this, of the, of this farming that maybe he hasn't thought of before. Right. And so that's how the masculine and the feminine energies can work together on different ways. So you could have a partnership here um, at work. You could have two business partners that sort of do that with each other, have that dynamic with each other, or you could have a couple, a, um, a husband and wife or, or two people that are married together it doesn't matter what their genders are but two people that are married together that have kind of have to figure out what they're going to do as they move forward and they're really learning how to do that together they're feeling industrious about it they're working hard they're feeling encouraged about their situation and they're rebuilding or building stability around themselves so no matter what this is if this is a new relationship that's starting with the ace of pentacles is it, if this is improvement that's coming towards you in your own existence with with your own people that are around you um i do see stability coming in here in the next short period of time, um, happiness together, a, a feeling of togetherness, a feeling of structure, a feeling of shelter that's going to be almost feel like arms wrapping around you in, in a way, in, in a cozy kind of feeling or a feeling that you can now take action in your life and you'll be safe in doing that, that you will be secure in what you're doing, that it won't all come crumbling down around you. Um, so it does feel like for this group of, of Libra people that there is here for some reason, this Aquarius came out. I don't know if I said Aquarius um, before, and that's kind of pinging me. So I might have said Aquarius before, but this is a reading for the Libra people. If I said Aquarius, I mean, there could, I don't know why Aquarius is coming out. It's just coming out. So maybe I said it before an accident, or maybe it's supposed to be here. I don't know, but Aquarius keeps coming out because I do have this King of Swords and Queen of Swords. And, um, the King of Swords, it's like, I'm looking at it. It does feel like a very Aquarius type energy. So there is a very open, open mindedness about this energy. It's very open minded, something opening in this energy, something opening, opening wider, opening farther, becoming weirder. You know, I don't know what the energy is. It's just kind of 
Very interesting. All right, let's start digging deeper now. I'm going to use a di different deck and, and let's start digging deeper now to see if we can find out more information here for you as you move forward. I'm not quite sure what deck I want to use. It just feels like it's important information that's going to come forward. I think I'll use this one. All these decks are in the information um, section below the video. So let's start with this Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to kind of separate these cards just a little bit so we have some space here to lay out some more energies. Just going to, here's your environment. Here is you. Okay, and here is what the energy that we're going to be looking into. Now, this is how you're feeling. Now, your your other person here, if you have a partner energy, um, then... Um, your, you know, this could involve your partner energy too, but this is what came out for you on your side, Libra. So let's see what else we can get here. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Now this bounced around a while, so um, this could be in the upright too. In fact, let's just know that it came, it, it landed in the reverse, but I'm going to put it in the upright. I feel like... Um, we have a three of pentacles over here in the upright. This could just be coming in for you. Maybe it's not quite here yet. Maybe you're still working to build it. Maybe it's still in the making perhaps, but I'm putting in the upright because I feel the energy is better that way. Knight of swords. There you are again, Libra. I mean, truly this has an, um, because we have all these swords energy, this really does have an energy of of intellect, it has an energy of expression, of communication, um, of thought forming and idea forming and plan and strategy, something like that. There's a lot of strategy here. Let's get one more energy. Six of Wands. So we have something here that's probably at this point coming into fruition or being established, or being started, right? Something that's just coming into being, getting going, right? With the Three of Pentacles, it did land in the in the reverse and we moved it to the upright. I feel like it feels better that way. Um, you do have the Knight of Swords here, so there could be some urgency here, Libra. Could be some urgency or something that you're saying that's really important with the Knight of Swords, something that you're saying that's maybe very direct. Um, it, it's very passionate. It's... it's um, when I say passionate, there's a lot of urgency in the mind. So it's almost like you have something that you have to say. It's something that you have to say, you know, and and um, you could be unsure, like within your heart that you should say it, or you could be a little bit wobbly in your abdomen, like you're, you're not quite sure that you say it, but that you should say it, but the brain keeps saying, you need to say this. You need to say this. This is your idea. This is important. You need to say this. But the fact that the Six of Wands is here too tells me that as you begin to speak and as you begin to form your thoughts around this, you will be able to move forward and step up to the plate and say what needs to be said or do what needs to be done. Remember, the Six of Wands is an energy of stepping forward, stepping up. Um, stepping into a new version of yourself that's an improved version or or taking on a new job, getting a new job or stepping into a relationship or um, taking on a project or, or doing something that you haven't done before or you haven't done in a long time. And you, you are being courageous in this energy. You're being brave and you're being strong, but you also have confidence because you know who you are. You know what you can do. You know what your natural abilities are. And you know that you can do this. You might have some doubts, like at the, in the middle of the night, you might wake up and think, shit, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> I've done that before. What the hell have I done? You know, so you can have moments like that. But then when you get going again the next day, you remember, you know why, you, you're feeling passionate. And that spirit is within you again, right? So it's it's something that can be something that can be slightly scary, but it's nothing that people see. People really don't see that you're scared. People don't see that you're nervous. People see how brave you are, how courageous you're being. And they're inspired by your passion. They're inspired by your willingness to step forward and do something, do something new or do something big. Um, and, and it helps other people recognize that 
um, that, that they also can make changes in their lives like this. So um, in a way, it, it has a, a win, 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 win situation, not just a win, win. But there are so many wins. Usually the people that are in the Six of Wands don't know all the wins that are happening around them. They just know that this is something that they need to do. There's an urgency here. They feel like they can do it. They're optimistic about it. They've started to see that it can come together and they're willing to step forward and they do step forward and they don't see all the different domino effects and all the different momentum that is created by the action that they're taking. They're totally involved in what they're doing and they don't realize how inspiring they are. Now, maybe a year from now, you might receive an award and then you'll look back and say, shit, I did something really freaking amazing. You know, you could really be like that. But when you're in the moment, um, you, you know, it's it can be a big, big energy for you. So that's what we're getting with this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's see here what else I want to, I think that I'm good with those energies. Let's look now, um, let's look and see if we can find out a little bit more about this Three of Pentacles. Maybe we can see... Um, what, what is here and see what we can dig a little bit deeper as to what this is. A little bit more information about the Three of Pentacles here. More information about the Three of Pentacles. King of Wands. So it's something that you're creating. It's something that's passionate. Now there could be a masculine energy here with you as well, or you could be the masculine energy. Remember, it doesn't have to be a male, female. It's just the type of energy that we see here often it is male but it doesn't have to be at all i'm in the king of wands a lot myself and i know a lot of a lot of people are these days when we're when we're stepping forward in new ways in our lives we are a lot of times in the king of wands more information about the three of pentacles there's that three of pentacles in reverse isn't that interesting do you see how it kind of slid in there like that and now we have a three of pentacles in the upright and a three of pentacles in reverse. Four of wands and the nine of cups. See, this is something that's really, really exciting, Libra. So the king of wands is here. Remember, the king of wands is the coolest dude, man. He can really step into things. He can step into new situations. He can lead the tribe. He can... He can um, step forward into a complicated situation and say, all right, all hands on deck. You go over there and do that. You over here and do that. And I'm going to step in here and I'm going to do this. Does he know that it's going to be all okay? No, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Is he willing to put his best foot forward and just jump into something and get it done? Absolutely. That's what the King of Wands can do. He has trust. He has trust in himself. He has been through situations before and he knows that everything comes out okay. He's able to be flexible. He's able to change if he needs to. He understands that this is something that is, that is um, a, a, um, I want to say a work of art. It could be a work of art, but it's something that is in the making, right? It's something that can be edited. It's something that can be changed along the way. The King of Wands is very inventive. He's very adaptable. Um, what he doesn't like to do is he doesn't like to stop, right? He doesn't like to get slowed down. He, he gets frustrated by, um, let's say the King of Pentacles comes in and the King of Pentacles starts saying, well, have you looked at how much money you have to do this? Have you looked at the numbers? Where are you in the budget? Well, he doesn't like that very much because he's in the middle of manifesting. He's in the middle of creating. He doesn't care about the numbers right now. He sees the need. He sees that there's something to be done, right? So, there are some things that can get on the nerves, get on the nerves of the King of Wands, and and really the King of Wands is not the ultimate, ultimate power. So sometimes the King of Wands has to be um, taken off his high horse sometimes, and that happens sometimes with the King of Wands. And then he'll throw a little bit of a temper tantrum, and then he'll sit down and he'll think about the numbers, and he say, "Okay, all right, fine, let's change this and change that. And I've got to get going again. There's so many people out here, and we have work to do." So he only has a little bit of, of patience around. Um, he only will come off his high horse for just a moment. Now, what is what happens to the King of Wands when he spends all his fuel, when he uses up all his energy? He crashes, right? He crashes. So he's going to need some time to recuperate. He's going to need some time to um, get healthy, to sleep, um, to, to eat good food, to rest. The King of Wands is like that. So um, you can think of the King of Wands as a performer, a presenter, a builder, um, 
an, an artist, a creator, somebody like that. So that's the energy that's wrapping around this Three of Pentacles. Now it's interesting that the Three of Pentacles is in reverse. So it looks like this Three of Pentacles is being created. It's in the process of being started, in the process of being created. Whether this is a re relationship, uh, um, something you're doing in the community, something you're doing for work, whatever it is, it's in the process of being developed at this point. Um, the Four of Wands is here again, along with the Nine of Cups. So this talks about um, there is a there is a wish, there is a goal, there is a desire for stability, there is a desire for um, a shelter. Um, this could be a, a significant something that the King of Wands or the energy that you're in, you feel very passionate about this, like this could be a life path, this could be a life partner, this could be a soul path or a soul partner. Um, but it does, it, there is here a realization that th it is necessary and it will bring joy to have stability, um, a happiness together, um, a, a formality, an agreement, something that helps you feel secure in the actions that you take or in, in your life. Um, what can help us make, what can help us feel secure in our life? Um, well, let's say if we're dating someone and then both of you decide that you're going to date each other exclusively, that can help you feel much more secure in the relationship. Or let's say you start a new job and you are there just in, in a, what do, what do you call it? Like a temporary, they're going to watch and make sure that you're a good fit. And then afterwards, after a three month period, they come and say, you know, we'd like to extend this position to you in a long-term kind of way. Um, and that would, that would be the four of wands that would help you be much more secure. Um, maybe if you were dating someone for a very long time, three or four years, and, um, you start to really question where, where the relationship is going. And then all of a sudden there's an engagement that will help you make, make you feel more secure. So that's the energy of the four of wands. Um, it's, it's a special energy. It's something that really allows you to kind of continue forward in a very passionate way in your life without fear without fear of consequences. Um, it's kind of a trusting energy as well. And then you have the nine of cups, which is a wish, a wish, um, a goal. Um, and there's some sort of complete completedness here. Um, something has been accomplished or something is being realized here. Um, and this nine of cups is over the top of the three of pentacles in reverse as well. So um, not only is it in the stability that's being created for you, Libra. Um, but it is in this, whatever that you're working on that's being created, whether it's, um, an, some, it, it does have to do with building something that's going to help you in your life. Um, whether it's a relationship or a job or whatever it is, um, this is going to bring a, a kind of joy into your experience as well. There's happiness, there's fulfillment in whatever this industrious energy, whatever you're spending your time building or doing it, it does bring you happiness. Um, with this energy. Okay, let's, let's look at the, let's, I, I'm kind of curious to see what the King of Swords has to say. What does the King of Swords have to say? So let's look at the King of Swords here. Just because I know that many of you are feminine energies. Um, I, I know what the demographics are of my listeners. So let's look to see what the King of Swords is. Or what does the King of Swords have to say? What does the King of Swords have to say? Four of Cups. What does the King of Swords have to say? What will the King of Swords have to say? Because we're this is we're not really looking into the past now. We're looking at the moment of now and moving into the next immediate future is what we're looking at here. What does the King of Swords have to say? The King of Swords is trying to find the big picture here. Why is the Four of Cups here? So I'm going to continue digging. Let's look at the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? High Priestess. More about the Four of Cups. Okay. Tell me more about the Hangman. <laughs> See, we dig down deep, don't we? Now realize, like, as I'm digging down deeper, these energies get more specific. They get more exact. So you could, you know, I could I could be losing some of you as I dig deeper, but 
the energies are still here so it's, it's kind of fun to do this and um, why is a hangman here why is a hangman here Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Might as well do it for the Three of Cups too. Just one energy, please. Just one energy for the Three of Cups. Seven of Swords. Interesting. All right. So there's quite a story here. Now there usually is, you know, when we take a snapshot like this, there's usually some kind of, there's always some kind of complexity is if we dig down deeper, right? Um, just as we get to know people, we, we, when we first meet people, we think, oh, they're this way or that way. And then when we get to know them, they always have interesting little quirks about them or interesting little histories about them that we don't know or we don't see when we first meet them, right? So that's kind of the energy here. Um, there's something here with this King of Swords. Now, this is a masculine energy. It could be your energy, or it could be another person around you, or it could be how you think. Now, remember, this could also be energy of the masculine and the feminine within you. The masculine energy is the energy of an, uh, a big picture kind of a way. It's an energy of making decisions, being discerning, um, being being fair, um, and and, and making making movements that will help move a situation forward in totality right as, as a as a whole it will help move the situation forward as a whole um the queen of panic uh, the, the the queen of swords that we have here um is some is an energy that will be expressive it will find little details that it will want to um communicate it will find groups of people that it might want to protect. It might have children that um, it might want to protect or, or be expressive about. So the Queen of Swords is much more expressive, um, can, can see the smaller details of life, can be very protective about those details, um, whether they are groups of people, like it's in a humanitarian, or it, whether it is about children, or whether it is even about how they feel about their own experience. So we're in this masculine King of Swords energy, and there's something here that this King of Swords is um, trying to figure out. He's trying to think through something. He's thinking through a situation. There's something that he doesn't quite like. Um, it's It's something that... Um, it's, it's, it could be a, around a female here with the high priestess. Now this female, um, with the high priestess could be, um, having, could be needing to express something within her and she could be, um, because the high priestess is usually someone who is connecting into the divine. She's someone who is, is sometimes silent. She is doesn't always have feel the need to speak something. So, so this King of Swords could be trying to figure out here what's going on with the feminine energy, where the feminine energy is knowing something, has deep feelings about something, um, could be feeling emotional, but is but is not really communicating. Might be some issue with communication because a high priestess is is um, sometimes a person who doesn't always feel the need to communicate or um, sometimes a high priestess feels like the information that is within her, it's hard to put that information into words. It's hard to express it because it's something that's very internalized and it's almost as in an energy rather than words, you know, and we always can, words are built with energy, but um, to take that energy and to form it into words sometimes is hard because sometimes um, there are really no words to to wrap around how the high priestess can feel when she's in this kind of energy. Um, it does look like there's an energy here of defensiveness, or um, she could have been wounded in the past. Um, she could she could have had situations in the past that might not have worked out, or she could have had arguments even with the King of Swords in the past, and you know she could have been wounded from those, and so. I think she's this this feminine energy is really trying to figure out what to say, how to say it. Um, I don't think this feminine energy is running away by any means. She's standing strong, 
Um, but she is working hard here, focusing on how best it, how best to move forward. Because the Nine of Wands is uh, the Nine of Wands energy is action, right? It is moving forward. It is the does have a wanting and a willingness to to accomplish something. But there's a hesitancy here because of past trauma with the Nine of Wands. So this is a feminine energy. This feminine energy might be having um, a little bit of a hard time putting the energy into words. And a part of this could be from past trouble or past challenges um, in, in her life in some way. And I think the King of Swords is not really knowing what to do because of this. He's not really, you know, he needs to have the feminine energy to help him find understanding about this. And when the feminine energy is quiet, um, he's he. it's like he's trying to find the big picture. He's trying to find it because just the King of Swords without the Queen of Swords, without that balance with the masculine energy, without the feminine energy is sometimes unbalanced. And so the, the, the masculine energy might be trying to figure out an answer here because we have the King, that we have the hanged man here. Um, and, and maybe he's even getting frustrated of this quiet. The hanged man is here. So it looks like there are some details here with the queen of pentacles. Um, the, the king of swords could be trying to find a practical solution forward. Um, could be looking now at the details of this situation, looking at the money of it, um, looking at the process, looking at what steps need to be done because the queen of pentacles is an implementer. She's a project manager. She, she manages all kinds of details. Okay. You do this and go there. And after you do this, go there and this person go over here and I'm going to do this. And it's very detailed. She's an accountant. She works with numbers. She um, is, is very detailed kind of oriented here with the queen of pentacles. She's also very firm and compassionate. So it's a nice energy. I think the, the King of Swords is, is looking into these details, and I think it's a stable, steady energy. Um, it looks like he's looking for the truth here. He's looking to make a decision, and he's probably looking to use these details that he's finding and gathering to help him make a decision. Um, maybe he's not really... Um, it, it could be that these details here are going to help him when he's in communication with the high priestess. Maybe the high priestess is needing to know these details as well. So I do feel like these details here are the important part of the story because the Ace of Swords is over the top. So the details are important and I think the details might help the feminine energy as well. Now there is an energy here of wanting to come together with something, wanting to, wanting to come together. The Three of Cups is an energy of wanting to come together. It looks like there was some sort of situation here with the Seven of Swords that created some sort of, of a need to revise something. And the need was something that could have been painful. Um, it could have really been confusing. Um, there could have been other people sit in this situation that were harmful. Or there could have been a, <clears throat> a harmful situation. Um, there could have been things that were said or, or ideas that were um, formed or, or strategies that were implemented that were... Um, unhelpful or that were created some sort of problem or challenge um, because it looks like there's a need now to change something and come back together again or um yeah it's, a, it's an energy of a reunion there is some sort of a reunion energy or an en energy of coming back together now after some sort of revision in life there there has been a revision in life and this would have been a, a kind of a traumatic something traumatic happened that kind of put this all into play. There's a backstory here. Um, there's a backstory here to this. All right, let's quickly look at the Four of Wands to see what we can find out of the Four of Wands. I'm not going to stay long in this energy, but I, I just feel like it's important to look at, at the, um, the Four of Wands here before we go to see what we can find with the Four of Wands. Tell us more about the Four of Wands, please. More about the Four of Wands. And then I'll move into the extended reading. Tell us more about the Four of Wands, please. Sun. Hey, I don't care if the sun is in reverse or not. If the sun is here, that's a beautiful energy. Four of Swords. The world. So it looks like there's a new 
new structure being formed, new, um, new security, new happiness, new, new shelter is coming in. Um, it looks like there is now this four of swords here. And I think we have it now twice with the four of swords. So there is a, a resting, there is a coming in out of the storm kind of feeling a realignment, recalibration. Um, there could be thankfulness, appreciation, um, connecting in, um, just revitalizing the self and the world energy is here too. So that tells me that there is, there has been something that has changed. There has been an ending to, to something um, with the world. And now there's a, a fresh new start. There's a new beginning here for Libra. And, and again, like I am feeling that energy of Aquarius. So I don't know if it is, this uniqueness, or if you're just kind of um, pulling from, if, if you if you're even feeling a little bit of Aquarius within you, or if there's an Aquarius around you, I um, mean, is the air it is the energy of eccentricity or thinking differently, thinking out of the box. Um, the sun is here; it's in the reverse. It, it just tells me that there is a, a new dawn, a new day, just as the sun can can start from the horizon. Um, and move forward into the upright in the afternoon and then move into the into the um, into the other horizon as it goes to bed for the night as you go to bed for the night um, it's like there is a new day here a new dawn and the sun keeps revolving it keeps rotating it keeps showing up in our lives and in in the just it, it's it's kind of in a way it's it's a it, there, I just feel like there is a, a deep thankfulness here. That's what I feel like. There's a there's a expansive feeling. There's a grateful feeling. There's a reverent feeling. Um, it's a whole new world. The sun is here. It's a whole new world. There's a rest now, a resting period. There's alignment now. Maybe this four of wands, this shelter, this structure looks completely different than it did before or it feels completely different, or maybe it feels a lot better than it used to. Yeah, I'm not sure, but, but these are beautiful, beautiful energies here around the Four of Wands. Very inspiring. Also, I know that the sun is here and I know that the world is here, but it's a kind of a soft energy, isn't it? It's, it's a soft, loving energy that I feel here, Libra. All right, my friends, I am going to move to the extended now. We'll take the situation forward two to three months and see what kind of comes out. And then we'll look at the, the people around you and, and really dig into those energies as well and see how they're kind of fitting within your world um, and their perspective of your world, even as what, you know, of, of the Libra people. We'll look at that as well. All right, my friends, stay healthy, stay strong. And, um, Stay vibrant in your lives, and I'll see you back on YouTube in another seven days or so with um, with another update, another another update um, of this energy or of another group of Libra people who um, come forward. All right, thank you very much, Libra.